I bow down to the divine in you. Every one of us is divine. The real Guru is within you. All the external Gurus are to just ignite your inner Guru. Your Atma is your inner Guru. If any master says that he is God, doubt him. You are the God. You are the Bhagavan. You are the completeness and you are the total. But am I the Aham Brahmasmi? When I say this, then actually it is it coming from our ego? When the mind is impure, it comes from only the ego. It is not from our soul. It is not the Advaita, the duality exists when it is from the ego. When you are totally pure, when the impure mind has become the no mind with all the vrittis filtered out, you are the no mind or the pure mind or the pure soul or you are the nearest to your consciousness, then you will understand the other is me only. Your physical body does not end with your material around you. The whole universe is part of you. There is nothing that is outside you. Whatever you see is happening within your eye. Whatever you hear is happening within your ear. Whatever you touch, it is happening in your skin. Whatever smell, it is happening in your nose. Whatever taste, it is happening in your tongue. There is no world apart from you. Everything around you is only a projected universe outside you. The residual karma, the mind you got from your karna sharira is just projecting it out. It is said that, that everything whatever stays you find the screen, wherever, whatever you see, it is all your projections. The mystics say, you are born much before your parents. Even the parents is, are born from you. The whole world is absolutely centered around you, the me, the subject to reality. The spirituality is just the subjective, the science is the objective reality. The science and spirituality are hardly different. Now the borders are collapsing slowly. The quantum mechanics, the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, the position and momentum of the electron cannot be determined at the same time and place.
the subject interferes. Now, where are we standing? The whole world, whatever we see, is just from me. The whole universe is in me. The Brahma, underpinned the Brahma, under. the whole cosmos, the whole universe, starting point, it exists from infinity to infinity. And you are the source. By whatever I utter, it is I am uttering to myself. When I speak something to you, even I am listening for the first time just as you are listening to me. I am only a window to the existence, the masters and the cos cosmic consciousness is speaking through us. It is absolutely we should become a window to the consciousness. The consciousness and energy are part of the one single reality. It is they are not two. The Shiva and Parvati are not two. The Prakriti and Purusha are not two. They are one. They became dual because a thought has come into you, a sankalpa has come into you and that is the origin of the whole universe existence. Perhaps that is the reason why we worship Ganesha first. The thought, the knowledge, that is the starting point. All the chakras within us, Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipuri, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agnya and Sahasrara. All are one. The Prakriti and Purusha, they are not dual. The Pancha Pranas and Pancha Upapranas, when you call as many, but they are part of one single particle or a wave. And particle is a wave and wave is a particle. They are just one and the same, but they look different because we are looking elsewhere. The outer, when you become inner, then the dot in the avu ma, the pranava, the ultimate dot or the turiya or the unstruck sound of the anahat chakra, the one hand clapping is self experienced. The God is self experienced. God is our own inner being. When the becoming stops, the being experiences. In that state of here and now, in that state of you are the Prakriti and you are the Purusha, you are the source and the Advaita, the non-duality will happen only then. And Samadhi is Sama plus Dhi. Sama means equanimous, Dhi is intellect. When the purest form of the mind, in the purest form of your mind, in that state of no mind, in that state of highest consciousness, you are in that nirvana, mukti and moksha. Mumukta ikshvasu, you are the ultimate and nothing is separate from it. And the real has, is not from the knowledge. Unfortunately, by knowing all the Upanishads, by knowing all the scriptures, it will take you only towards the ego. The knowledge of the ego 
it is knowledge will stop you in knowing. See a child, the child is considered to be the God, every child is considered to be God. He is just in absolute consciousness and is born with no mind. The mind is borrowed from society, mind is inculcated from the society. It is from education, it is from teachers, it is from parents, it is from the politician, it is from the leader, it is from the everything that goes in. That is why it is said the child when he enters the school is much more creative and intelligence is prevailing in him when he comes out of the university. You may be just vomiting knowledge. And that is nothing to do with your inner experience. The knowing is just pure knowing. You just see any child, he is so utterly present in whatever is taking place. When he cries, he cries 100 percent. When he sleeps, he sleeps 100 percent. When he speaks, he speaks 100 percent. When he listens, he listens 100 percent. Somehow, we have got that nature that something is wrong. The whole activity is going towards we tell the child as if something has to be learned. You are complete. The society only can corrupt him, can create an aberration in him. You are the God yourself. That is why no mental concepts are there in the child. He will plays with the pebbles, you give him a diamond, he does not want it. You give him just a chocolate, he is more interested in a chocolate than a document of a land or a plot or a, a whole earth also is not good for him. He is purely innocent. That is why Jesus says, the meek shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Thou shall not enter the kingdom of heaven without thyself becoming innocent. This is the strength we have to go through. We are actually so much of diseases have set in because of our wrong prana. Every suppression will create an aberration in the prana. You tell the child, boys do not cry and then he stops. Sex is wrong, he stops. But when you are not there, he does some other thing. Nothing can be suppressed. On the fasting day, the urge for food is more. The person who says that wealth is wrong will only dream about the diamonds and gold and all the wealth, all the riches. It has to happen within. The transformation is within, the transcendence is within. Just understand your mind, transform the mind, then transcend the mind, so that you go towards your soul and this is the ultimate in your life. Unless we do this, we are wrongly trapped. Everything we think about God is all just notional. Whenever you see a temple, suddenly unconsciously, mechanically your head bends down. It is nothing to do with your inner core, the inner being. It is not just the expression of your, the soul or your heart. We are so conditioned in our reflexes. You are just so mechanical in your attitude. There was a person. He was buying a horse and that horse, they said it will run at any speed, but you should say God, it will keep on running. But the moment you say Om, it will stop. One person has bought this horse, he kept on saying, God, 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 God and it went on 
going at a higher to speed and a mountain precipice he was almost touching that and then suddenly he had seen a valley in front of him he forgot the word what he should use then he said om suddenly and the horse stopped then he said oh my god then the horse jumped down the valley and he died so our saying of god our saying of anything is just utterly unconscious behavioral pattern it comes from only your mind and puja is purnatva jayate only when you become fullness only when you become the total when you become when you understand completely life is a journey everything changes truth is here and now and the principles of satchitananda are self experienced then only lot of changes will take place in your core of your heart and then the body and the soul are together till that time mind becomes only a barricade a wall in between and you can never reach the absolute truth the absolute truth is dharma many people think that dharma by following rituals i am a dharmic person there is nothing called dharma is simple very simple whatever you don't want to don't want the other person do to to you don't do it to the others simple there is no christian dharma there is no hindu dharma there is no muslim dharma all dharmas are same the mind is same contamination is same body's behavior is same water boils at 100 degree centigrade whether it is a hindu muslim or christian 